Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Demelon Bogota, your health, wellness and beauty specialist. So of course guys, today is the 1st of February. That means um, it is the love month. So um, I've decided to do a video uh, just to show you how you can massage your partner, whether it's a woman or a man. Um, so I'm going to give you just a few movements and who better to do that on but the one and only. <laughs> guys this is my partner isn't he handsome i don't know about the cap though i've yeah, been telling him i don't like the cap but anyway <laughs> he's handsome anyway this is my partner and uh, better known as vincent the gay kid <laughs> aka Tataka crazy father of my child etc etc story for another day <laughs> do you want to say something to the people uh, what's up guys? Yes, so he has a very fantastic life because this is his breakfast, his breakfast is like his supper, he gets massages all the time. I don't know about that, I don't know about that. He gets that. massages all the time. Don't. He's lying, he's lying. I massage him all the time. <laughs> Anytime he says, ouch, this is so, what is this? I'm like, come baby, you know, <laughs> these ass, healing ass, baby. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to be doing the massage on him today. Um, so he's used to this whole vibe. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to show you four movements, guys. And as I go along, I'm going to tell you exactly what the, each movement is doing. Nothing complicated for you guys. Um, just so that you can make your partner feel special on this month, Valentine's Day, whatever you call it. This is also for people that don't celebrate Valentine's Day, okay, guys? If you don't celebrate Valentine's Day and you believe Valentine's Day is every day for you guys, that's fine. It's also nice just to get some tricks and tips on how you can massage and treat your partner. So let's get right into this video. See, I'll take the cap off, just, you know. Thank you, so look! Yeah, look, at, look at the difference! <laughs> Amazing. Good. Okay, bye guys. All right, so I'm going to be applying oil now. I'm using um, peppermint oil. You can use grapeseed oil, sandalwood. You can use avocado oil. Just don't use fish oil, please. Um, but any massage oil, Annika oil is also very good. So right now I'm just spread it uh, amongst my hands, also my elbows. And now I'm applying it on the entire back. So there's no specific sequence for this. Um, you just want to welcome your energy into your partner's energy. So align them, right? Because massages is, is a very... Uh, energies connect. So... You need to make sure that your energy is clear before you massage the next person. Anyway, I'm just gonna clear, um, sorry, spread all the oil all around his back and make sure that it's proper lubricated. So I'm going in with an effleurage movement. I know it sounds complicated, but it's just a stroking movement. Um, it involves circular motions from one end to the other. And this is basically welcoming my energy to his energy right so I'm going to be using the palm of my hands as you can see this is where I'm going to be applying pressure so as you can see that's the part I'm applying pressure with sorry about that so we're gonna start with the effleurage again using the palm of my hands okay so we're going in from the neck down the spine you're gonna go around the glutes back up the spine down the trapezius down the biceps into the elbow up into the neck and onto the occipital hollow the next movement i'm doing a stroking movement with my hands so we're starting on the left side of his back so we're just going to stroke again you're applying pressure with the palm of your hands however your full hand is on the client's body so you're doing stroking movements and you're going around the scapular bone scapular bone is that shoulder bone basically your delta deltoid muscle and you're going around that so always make sure you are not applying pressure on any bone because it is very very uncomfortable so now I'm doing the right side of his back. Again, just smooth stroking movements, right? You can do this as many times as you, you wish you want to do. Just really according to what you prefer. 
okay you can also go back to the other side stroke some more whatever you feel you prefer I always end on the occipital hollow now I'm going to be doing a kneading movement so like if you are needing um, dombolo or something like that that's basically what the kneading movement is so as you can see I'm starting on the left side of his back working myself upwards I'm usually applying pressure with my thumb and I guess my fingers if we were to put it that way um, but mainly my thumbs then I'm working in the middle and when you work in the middle here you want to make sure that you are not applying any pressure on the spinal cord okay then I'm going to the right part of the body I mean sorry the back and again I'm doing a kneading movement so obviously your pressure will be according to your partner or whoever you're massaging the pressure is what will you you can always confirm with them is my pressure fine would you like me to press more or not now we're doing a ringing movement okay so literally side to side just like that again I'm starting on the left side of his back just up and down up and down alternative hands and you can see my full hand is on my client's back then going to go into the middle but once again when you go over the spine loosen up your pressure because that area is very very sensitive okay and then we're going to ring on the right side of his back Again, you can do this movement as many times as you like, depending on what you prefer. So those are basically all the four movements. Um, so it was the effleurage that we started with, and then went into the um, stroking, back stroking. We then ended off with the kneading of the whole back and then to complete it we've done a ringing movement okay now i'm just going to end off with the effleurage again effleurage movement is always something good to begin your massage with and to end your massage with okay so obviously i don't want this um video to be super long so i'm going to proceed and finish off my partner's back massage and then we'll get back to you i decided to add an extra movement guys just so that sometimes it's a little bit complicated but i'm using my elbows as you can see i'm starting on the trapezius i'm working around the scapula back and I'm alternating both my hands so as you can see it's one side then the next side then the next side and then the next side just like that you can do them both at the same time so up the trapezius down the scapula around the scapula and just like that this is amazing amazing for any shoulder pain that your partner might have so guys, that is basically it. I'm going to continue with the massage. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please do not forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you liked any of what you uh, what I showed you today, please comment in the comment section below. If you want me to show you some more massage movements, like how to massage your legs, if you have leg pain, if you have foot pain, I can show you all those massage techniques. Um, but for now, this is basically it for your Valentine's special. Okay, guys? Thank you so, so much for tuning in and we'll see you again next time.